what are Sony even doing? I'm that nomad Chad, and welcome to the loading screen. It's been pretty quiet on the anime front, but for now let's jump into some gaming news. Ah, Twitch. Twitch, 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 what are you doing? This week Twitch announced some proposed changes that are coming to its partner program and this was leaked. I'm not going to jump into all of them but I do think there are a few key points of interest. The ones that I want to focus on are incentives for more ads, a new revenue split and no more exclusivity. Now the no more exclusivity actually sounds really good because it means creators will be able to diversify the platform. They can jump onto YouTube they can jump onto Facebook, whatever they want to do. That's pretty cool and I think that's very progressive of Twitch because their, their VOD system sucks. But this is where it all comes apart because the new revenue split will no longer be a 70-30 split, it will be a 50-50 split. So partners will be getting a lot less from their subs, which is really worrisome. On top of that, they're trying to incentivize more ads. From a viewer's perspective, that's bad, like ads put me off watching live streams. And the incentive to put more ads on, oh, that's gonna kill creators. I think it's some bad moves from Twitch. I've always been critical of Twitch as a whole, as a platform and the changes that they've been making recently. But one thing is for sure, the monetization program has always been pretty solid. For affiliates, for partners, I actually think it's really good because it's got a the relatively decent barrier for entry and it means creators can earn a bit of their hard work but this is setting it way back we'll just have to see what comes of it so to all my streaming friends out there will you be jumping ship or will you be staying on board for a little longer so sony has finally released its proposed pricing for its new ps plus deluxe system you know the whole tiered thing and as a South African, I'm actually not too faced by it. I think at its top tier, one five a year is not terrible. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit patient on this because I am keen to see what they have in the classic library. I've heard the rumblings of Siphon Filter being rated in South Korea, like the whole franchise. But let's see what else they're going to add into that massive catalog of classics. Because that's really going to make it or break it. The other new interesting bit from PS Plus Deluxe is its new Game Trials which will allow you to play for at least 2 hours and you'd be able to get a, a refund based on any game that's over 300, $334, I don't know, in rands, it's changing all the time, whatever. Which is, I think that's pretty cool because that means you can at least test the game out before and if you don't like it you can get a refund. Why has it taken them that long to do this? Because other platforms have some refund system, you know, some trial system, which is it begs the question, what are you doing? I'm really keen to see how this pans out. I'm hoping they drop a nice big library of classic games for us to delve into, but we'll have to wait until June to see how all of this pans out. And while we're on the topic of PS Plus, the PS Plus lineup for May has been announced. We've got FIFA 2022, Crabs of Midgard, and Curse of the Dead Gods. Now personally, I don't care much for FIFA 22 because I haven't played FIFA in, in a hot minute. But Curse of the Dead Gods, that's where it's at. Now we get into Sony's more nuanced weird decisions. And this comes with the announcement that Bad Bunny will be playing El Muerte in a Sony Marvel movie. Who? For those who don't know who El Muerte is, I don't know either. Because this is the most niche, unknown character in the entirety of the Spider-Man universe. Like they found the most random dude and they were like, this character. I get that Bad Bunny is a big wrestling fan, but really? Like that's, uh, I don't know man, you had so many chances 
You had so many opportunities and so many characters and this was the one you went with. No man. And now, for some sad news for Fast and Furious fans. Because Fast X has been put on hold. That's because Justin Lin, who's directed a number of them, has now left the project as director. He's staying on as producer, but he's no longer the director. This comes only like a week into shooting, and it's currently costing them somewhere between 600000 and a million dollars a day. So they're looking for a director. If you know anybody, let them know. I don't know. It's creative differences. Who knows what that means anymore? That could mean anything. But let's see what happens. Fast 9 was... Uh, it wasn't... Not my cup of tea anymore. And with that, we come to the end of the loading screen. I'll be back next week with more ramblings in the world of gaming anime and movies. And you can also check out my video about Skyrim and RPGs over, over here. It's over here, I think. So do the right thing.